Thomas, Roy Thomas from Jamaica. You're here as part of a IAAF training course for Bermuda coaches. Tell us a bit about what, what the achievement, what you're trying to achieve and, and how things have been going thus far for the week. Right, so far it's been going very well. Uh, the enthusiasm, the attendance, the punctuality, all I would score at A's so far. Um, what we this course is a the new level one coaching course and so it will expose the participants to all the events of track and field and in addition to the the previous level one course they will be learning how to plan training in terms of the workloads formally it was an introduction to the the events and so they could they would be prepared to train or to coach at say up to about age 12 but now with this additional component they can plan a training for student athletes up to about age 16. Now what, I, what I've noticed over this week because I've been here a few days but they're getting multiple different training elements put in uh, you've done sprints you've done hurdles uh, day like today you're doing obviously long jump and triple jump um, is that a new tactic to get the coaches multitask as far as because some coaches are specialized but but is this a new task to get when you're dealing with the youth to get them multitask well this is the the objective of the level one course to expose all the coaches to all the events of track and field because these are junior coaches now for the most part and so they'll be working with student athletes who don't even know which event is best suited for them so if the coach now has this ability to teach all the events then you know a person who may think that well i'm a great distance runner because you have great distance runners here may find that no you're better suited for another event and um right now in the caribbean you know usain bolt is a big name so everybody wants to be a sprinter that's my case at home you know and so you when you look at them you say no you you have some some speed but maybe you're better suited for some jumping events or maybe some throwing events you know rather than sprinting so that's what we want to do expose the coaches to all the elements so that they can help the student athletes decide what is best suited for them what does next week have in store for these coaches well other events now so we're we're looking at the pole vault high jump javelin and most of the throws because those are the ones left to come some middle distance and race walking now, as you've already said, Bermuda's known for having some how, uh, some good middle distance runners. Um, how does how does coaches identify what what athletes will be suited for whatever events? Like you said, how do they, how do you identify that? All right. So there are some things that we will look for. Um, part of the course exposes the athlete, the, stu the coaches, to some anatomy, some physiology and the energy systems that drive the body so we may look at an athlete and say okay do a standing long jump from here a standing vertical jump and we might find that this one you know this guy here really can jump very high so that would give us an indication of that person you know, having a predominance of fast twitch fibers so such a person would be more suited for those dynamic events the sprints the jumps and the throws you may conduct a a little test let us say we're going to run 400 meters and you find that some die off very early and some are very strong towards the end of it so again that gives an indication of the suitability of such an athlete you know more suited for one one who die off early maybe for sprints whereas the others may be middle distance and long distance bermuda is not unique because probably uh, jamaica had the same problem but we have uh, multi-talented athletes in the sport of track and field where they'll be a good sprinter they're a good jumper that you know they they have various good attributes in in various different events when should one be looking at identifying what one particular event that youngster should go through and and what age bracket should we be looking to identify them and tunneling them to that one particular event right in the initial stages we are exposing them to almost everything and then as we go on approaching puberty and so on now the body is changing and so and so towards the end of the 14 15 we may start introducing some sort of specialization work and certainly by about 16 they should be specializing in the event that best suited for them by that time the, the coach should be able to identify what is the, the best event for this particular child what has been some of the strengths of this particular group that you've been working with um, and what are some of the weaknesses that you've identified over the first week? 
Um, I like to dwell on the strengths, <laughs> so I will focus there. And strengths is the, the enthusiasm. They are reading, so they come with questions. They, they pay attention when you're, you're doing the, class, the lectures. So they are great, great, there is great interactivity between you know, the lecturer and, and the coaches. And that's a, a very wonderful thing. The punctuality, the enthusiasm, those are the things that um, account for a lot. And uh, based on that, I think uh, the future is, is very, very good for Bermuda Jack and Dragon Feet. All right, well, we'll talk to you at the end of next week to see how everyone made up. All right, thank you. <laughs>